Welcome back to another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season seven, episode three, Tina Witch. Okay, I'm guessing that it's like a Tina focused episode, obviously. I'm guessing that this is gonna be the Halloween episode. A lot of the Halloween episodes from the show, practically all of them actually, are like the second or third episode. So it's obviously Tina focused as well. I don't know, maybe Tina like finds a spell book or some shit and thinks she's an actual witch or something along those lines. Who knows? Honestly, at this point, I would not be surprised. But yeah, anyway, let's just get into this. Four days till Halloween. Oh, hell yeah, so it is Halloween. And dandy and poop and candy. Oh, hell yes. I don't know what my costume's gonna be, but I do know it'll be the last minute and mom will make it. <laughs> okay. I have a pretty great idea for a costume. Maybe even great enough to win the costume. Co is, it good, is it good? Oh, is it a costume contest? I'm disqualified because of last year. So, <laughs> wait, what, what did you and do last next, year? We have Louise Felcher dressed what? as. Huh. Oh my god, she's I'm Mr. Frost. I didn't I was wondering what the fuck she was going to be. No, 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 no. Safe to cross. I don't do costume contests. The only con I mean, yeah, fair enough. I, I don't think I would. I'm gonna be a hot mess. I'm gonna dress <laughs> really messy and then decorate myself in flames. Okay. Oh, Tina, that's a good idea. And they're gonna yeah. steal it, aren't they? Wait, you're gonna be a hot mess? Because I'm actually gonna be a hot mess. Okay Wait, then. I thought we oh, were gonna sure. be sexy judge Judy. <laughs> no, Jocelyn, sexy judge I'm gonna Judy. be a hot mess. Okay, they're just stealing her idea. No, I like the idea because it's mine now. I mean, okay. it's always mine. Oh, it's, yep, sure. Oh, it. She's got you there, T. <laughs> back on the sidewalk. Wait, Tammy. See you later. Uh, I'm gonna sign uh, up. Wait, why, why could they go across? They practically oh, left the same time as Tabby and that. It's my idea. I need to cross the street. Not safe. Jackie, please let me cross. Tammy's stealing my costume idea. Not safe. Safe. Yeah, I don't think she cares. No coming, look. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You cross because you're getting on my nerves. I get it. That's just being an arsehole. All right, guys. Here it is. Wow. Oh, hell yes. That's actually oh, kind of cool. It, my little Bobolangelo. It's a perfect burger. Yeah, I used the stencil. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, impressed. It's cool. what did you expect? It's fucking hard to, to carve like a pumpkin in that. Without a stencil. Outside. Outside? Why don't you put it on the counter for decoration? No, oh, jack-o'-lanterns go outside. That I mean, I guess so, but like, I feel like putting it out on like the footpath or whatever, people are going to smash it. Uh, I can't believe Tammy stole my costume. I mean, to be Tammy, fair though, Tina, are you really surprised? I really she doesn't to win seem like, you know, the greatest so person. Close, just so seems very, you know, normal and for her. Is what the fuck? Katie Waxman. Okay. What is Tina meant and to be? the winner is Nicholas Mendoza. And the winner is <laughs> okay, that... Tina Belson. Oh, wait, sorry. Trina Belson. Ah. What? Okay, Tina's was the, definitely the best one there. What about a sandwich? I've got fish sticks, but okay. I'm the possibility. I mean, I, I guess that could work. Sandwich. Two pieces of bread with a witch in the middle. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to go to the library to research witches and Okay, bread. I mean... Oh, sure, yeah, just check out that book, Witches and Bread. And then check out <laughs> vampires and... Oh, no, that seems like a weird costume, but I guess it could work. I mean, I know witches wear pointy hats and flying broomsticks, but it'd be helpful to have a reference picture to work off of. I okay, really want to win the costume contest. Witches don't wear pointy hats and fly on broomsticks. <laughs> they look like everyone else. I mean, I guess yeah, so. you're describing a stereotype. Don't be a witchist. I I'm not. What? I didn't know. I didn't know that was a thing. What do you mean? Witches are powerful and alluring wow they're also definitely not fucking real but which is yeah why duh i work in a library <laughs> oh right okay I am one. what I am one. okay then then be a witch okay i think i made it pretty clear i'm going to be a witch <laughs> no i mean yes. be a witch like an actual fucking witch okay jesus christ really Okay, well, I guess I'll give it a try. Oh my god, did I get the fucking Beware. spell book Casting thing spells right? can be really dangerous. Oh, wait, should I not? Oh, no, 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 you <laughs> totally should. But I'm just Okay, saying... they're dangerous. Okay. okay. They're dangerous, but you should do it anyway. We thought of another costume idea for you. Sheer Baka. It's Chewbacca in a cheerleading uniform. <laughs> What's uh, happening That's actually kind of cool, you though. You to cover up your room, Bunk? Oof, that's not working. Wait, is that a spell book? Yeah, apparently so. Didn't the ways do, like, a... In the first season, have like a voodoo book. Halloween's coming, kids tricking, kids are treating, <laughs> ghosts gonna spook, pumpkins gonna pop and wow. Oh. What? You okay? You I forgot the fucking pumpkin, didn't he? No, I just realized I forgot to take my jack o' lantern inside. I'm gonna go. And he's gonna go oh, there, okay. then he's gonna be completely I'm doing fucked. Just myself. <gasps> oh, kids are tricking. <laughs> I mean, you don't seem very bothered by that. Now I just have to burn it. Ah! Okay, that's probably burn enough. Cast a spell for me too. I want fish sticks for tomorrow's lunch at school. Okay, Wait, surely, surely there is not going to be a point? fucking nothing, nothing spell for that. Why do I have a feeling that, that somehow all this shit's gonna actually come true? 
fish sticks are what we desire. Give us this food, our hunger is on fire. Nice. Oh, look at that. Love spells. Maybe I'll just do a quick one. <laughs> of course. I just need something of Jimmy. Honestly, I thought that would have honestly for that what that would have been the first thing she did. What the? Someone took it? Who steals a pumpkin? Smash I don't know, people. You're gonna do something. Stop yelling! Sorry, uh, Edith. Someone yeah, I was gonna say, Edith, you sound like you're fucking yelling louder than Bob is. Bob, do you smell that? Something's burning. Wait, is it, okay, is it from Tina and her watch. fucking spells or whatever? Normal. Normal. <laughs> Normal. Yeah, no. What? Tina, what the hell is going on? Uh, um, it's hard to explain. You wouldn't yeah, honestly, she would be full of like fucking confused. Down. It's like Kenny G's rehearsal space in here. <laughs> Linda Belcher, not a peep. Close your eyes and go to sleep. I am going to sleep. All right. Good night. <laughs> yeah, you know I love that the fact that she's not even really asking many questions. What? Okay. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Ow, Tina. Is she going like what's a good like golf now? Someone woke up all witchy. Yeah, apparently so. What do you got there, Oh my god, he's doing another one. Been? It's I lucky that Jack lands is the fucking like cheap in America. In Australia, I swear to God, they're like. I don't know. They're like four dollars a kilo, or something like that, and they or, and they end up costing like forty five dollars just just for a jack o' lantern. A pumpkin just disappeared. Oh, spooky. Well, I mean, someone <laughs> so, took it. Yeah, obviously was someone took it doing for that. whatever or reason. Something. I mean, they probably took it just to smash it. It wasn't a ghost. I'd stay away from that pumpkin just in case. Okay, done. I'm putting it outside. Outside? Are you nuts? Leave it in here where it's. Yeah, it's, it's just gonna get taken again. I cast all the spells in this book. Can I get a new one? Uh, all of them. All the spells. Yeah. It's all of them. Reference book. You're not supposed to run through it like an Us Weekly. <laughs> well, I did. I think I'm good at this witch thing. Ugh. You've been a witch for what? Two days? Yeah, Take apparently so. Notch. You're playing with powerful forces. This is not kid stuff. I am powerful. Well, okay. If it's not kid stuff, why are you able to borrow it from a school library? Unless it's this guy's personal collection. Okay to cross. Finally. I thought this was a crosswalk, not a wait around all day walk. Okay, Jesus, Excuse Katie. You don't, me. Yeah, you don't have to be a fucking watch dick. Watch your mouth. You watch my mouth. I okay. Cast a spell on you. Excuse me? Yeah. You're actually being kind of cringe at this point. Hey, what are you doing? My barrette. Give it back. Can't. I need it for my spell. Oh, God. What is she a fucking In witch as well? In hours, your fate will be worse. Because the girl who casts spells now is cursed. Okay. You can keep crossing now. Wait, um, yeah, can, you can at least give the thing back. I feel like you can't do that. Uh. You guys see that? The knife almost stabbed my foot. Um, okay, yeah, I think you're being fucking paranoid at this point. Fine. Hey, Lynn, can you bring me the salt? Come get it yourself. You know I can't leave my post. <laughs> Bob, I was wondering where Bob today. was. Did oh, I remember sorry, about the whole Would it help if Jack you the thing? Salt? Just come get it, Bob. Fine. Oh, my God. Is he going to go for like five seconds and it's going to be gone? Oh, what? How? On. Surely whoever it is really? is just waiting. You made me come get the salt. Wait a minute. Pesto. I mean, I was thinking that, but I'm very doubtful it actually is him. Oh, he did it. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he would be able to run across the road and run back and hide the pumpkin. Huh, why is my window open? What the fuck? Oh, for a second I thought she was in the bedroom. I was going to say, okay, no, that's not okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Jesus Sorry, cursed, and I'm only 13. Please don't call me ma'am. <laughs> Mr. Ambrose? Yes, Goth Brooks. I think oh. they got cursed. Yawn. By Jackie the Crossing Guard. Did oh my god, is she had, like a big fucking level 50 yeah. witch and oh, some shit true. like You're that? In trouble. Jackie's a witch. A mean witch. Oh, god, how okay. How many witches are there at this school? Yeah, how many? Witches, witches are everywhere. I thought sure. you were just being dramatic. I was. But I honestly thought he was being dramatic as well. I did both. Jackie and I used to be in the same coven. She's a powerful witch, but okay. she always wanted to go dark. Revenge spells this, curse your enemies that, and she never chipped it. I mean, I'm not that surprised that she's kind of, you know, an evil witch or whatever the fuck that's meant to be. Like, because of the fact that she just seems like kind of an arsehole anyway. Oh, is this the cost? Really. Oh, yeah. I know you're worried about oh, my God. That, that is a fucking sandwich. The contest. Tina, nothing's going to happen. Just wiggle your nose or something and uncurse yourself. Is she is she gonna lose the fucking cost like the contest to be like oh shit that's why I'm that's because of the curse 
Welcome to the Wagstaff Costume Contest. Oh, hell yes. Let's kick off. Honestly, wish my school had shit like this. I mean, Halloween is not even a big thing in Australia. First, we have no, um, So, I mean, it makes sense. Marcel Marceau. Okay. I don't know what that's meant to be. This is a fucking and mime. We have Peter Pescadero as the Mona Lisa. Isn't she mistaken? <laughs> okay, that is actually kind of cool. Is that and rude? Next is Tina Belcher as a sandwich. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> so what the fuck she's in there? <laughs> Tina, let's keep it moving. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she... What's going on up there? You're going a weird way with the yeah, same you are. character. No one gets it. I think the curse is gonna happen now. Oh God! While I'm on stage. Just uh, whatever. honestly, at this point, I would just go and be like, "Fuck it." Stay down here and walk next to you. We'll catch you. And then we'll pass you around like you were intentionally crowd surfing. <laughs> I mean, that's actually not a bad idea if that could actually be possible. Tina, what is going on? I know this isn't normally how you walk down a catwalk. I'm walking slowly because something terrible is gonna happen to me right now. I accidentally pissed off the wrong witch, <laughs> and now I'm cursed. Wait, were we supposed to prepare a speech? <laughs> no, she's just fucking paranoid. We're just gonna keep moving along. I mean, yeah. Next we have Tammy Larson dressed as a hot mess. Love it, so original. Oh yeah, uh, even though it wasn't her fucking IG. Started. I wanted to win the contest so bad. I'm sorry I got myself into this stupid curse. I'm okay, sorry then. I said those things to you, Jackie. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I ever listened to you about witchcraft, Mr. Okay, Ambrose. Yeah. I have no idea what she's talking about. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jackie, if you're going to do something to me, just do it already. I've done being a witch and I've done with this curse. I'm just going to try to be more confident and less mean to crossing guards. I know that's a really cliche thing to say, but I mean... Is it I don't think I've ever heard people say. Do we have to keep spotting you for the rest of your life? No, uh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Uh-oh, here comes Jackie. Louise, hands up. Here we go. Uh... I accept your apology. Okay, Please yeah. Barrette. Consider yourself uncursed. Okay, phew. You have to admit, we got a little crazy. Y I mean, you more Whoa. than me. But... Yeah, she... I'm... What? Kidding. Oh, okay. Uh, Good. Oof. You got me. I mean... I mean, I don't think she should be able to take the fucking thing anyway. That just seems a little bit weird. Like, it's a little bit fucking, you know, unprofessional. Bob, you can't just stare at Jimmy Pesto all day. He's gonna try for it, Lynn. I know he's I, I'm for very one. doubtful. Oh, I'm, was it fish owner? Why? Hello, Bob. I'm taking this jack-o'-lantern home to put with the others. Wait, you're the one who's been stealing my jack-o'-lanterns? Stealing? No, I thought we had an understanding. You what? carve them and leave them out, and then I take them. What? Why, why would that be the fucking understanding or whatever? Why, why would he be the one? Why would he on purposely do that? What aren't I doing with him? Come to my Ew. house tonight and I'll show you. Okay, that sounds ominous as shit. Welcome to Jacko Land. What the your fuck? Your Halloween just got a. I mean, I guess there's all Bob's ones there. Eh? Want a picture with your father's Burgo lanterns? Okay. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's uh, five dollars. What? Are you fucking man. kidding me? I'm not so that's. For a picture of you with my Jacko lantern. Yeah, honestly, at that point, just fuck it. I am sore. What happened? Why? I thought I had a cashew in my pocket and I was digging around in for like 10 minutes. Kids, can you please get back to work? Just oh, I think you made you dig in your skin hey. like that. No. What the fuck? Why is he tan? Is anything different about me? You're no, tan. You. Huh? Huh? I'm tan. Why? I got back from a week in the Bahamas. Okay, okay then. Last. Except for Jimmy Jr. He forgot to put on sunblock. Now he looks like a dog sting dog. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, just have a ton of money right now. I fucking hate sunburn. I got badly sunburnt like one time, and I don't think I've been sunburnt since. At least badly, because I obsessively put sunscreen on. Take, for example, my new meat guy saves me over a thousand a month. Oh, what? God, is it going to turn out to be horse Jack meat? Conway. I call him Jack saves me over a thousand a month Conway. Yeah, because well, I'm guessing it's uh, horse meat, and so that's why it's cheaper. My shopping list is really piling up this month. Hey, if we want to save money, why don't we call that meat guy? What was oh, his name? Oh, God. Jack something? Yeah. We already have a meat guy. We've been with him for years. Dimitri. Yeah, but sounds like this other guy could help us out a little. I mean, I'm just going to be real. Sometimes cheaper options are better. I'd, I'd be suspicious if it's, like, suspiciously cheap. They buy the best cuts, so I don't even know if you can. $400. What? Oh, Based okay. on what you told me on the phone, I bet I could save you $400 a month. Okay, that's actually pretty quality. good, I Four, guess. $400? It's like $500. <laughs> Does that sound yes. good to you? Sounds good to me. To be honest, it, it sounds too good. Bob. Yeah, that's what I mean. It does sound too good. Like, obviously, get the cheaper options if, if there is a cheap option, but, like, if it sounds suspiciously cheap, 
<laughs> be weird. Why don't you folks just buy a small box for me today? A sampler, if you will. I mean, I guess fair and, enough. Uh, give it a whirl. You'll see. It's the same great quality at a lower price. I mean, surely if it is horse meat, they'll be able to tell the difference between that and beef. Really? You, you don't think it tastes kind of weird? Okay, then. I, I mean, I guess uh, he's suspicious. Maybe make another one. I can tell better. Maybe make a few. No, I don't think this is going to work out. I don't think I'll be ordering again from this guy. No harm, no foul. I mean, yeah, fair Bob. enough. Hugo, what are you doing here? Hi, Ron. Hi, everybody. Oh, God, is Hugo going to come here? Realize it's horse meat. Uh, yes, Hugo, we do serve USDA prime beef. Wrong! We have photographs of a certain vendor entering your restaurant with a box of meat. Bob, do you know what the term meat fraud means? Is it when you try to buy something oh. at a store, but instead of money, you use meat? No. No. That's, <laughs> it's obviously fucking buying meat or selling meat that's not, you know, advertising meat and saying that it's something else. Hugo, what are you saying? I'm saying that the beef inside that box wasn't beef at all. Okay, it was horse meat. It was meat. horse. Horse? Oh my God. Huh. So yeah, Tina's not gonna like that. I didn't even think of that. I have no other option but to shut you down. Hugo, I swear I didn't know. Well, there is one other option. I thought you just said there was. No yeah, other what option. the fuck? You assist Ron and myself in our undercover sting investigation of the meat vendor. I mean, honestly, that's a fair trade-off. To be save fair. Your restaurant, you're wearing a wire. Also, should they shut down G Jimmy Pesto's restaurants as well? Considering he also buys for this guy. Do you want us to shut your restaurant down? What? Fine, shave me. What is that? It's sweet and sour sauce from the Lucky Dragon. Um, why, <laughs> why are you, are you using that? that? For shaving cream. It's, what? It's all we had in the Okay, bag. sure. Great. Do health inspectors even do this? Isn't yeah, what the fuck? I was going to say, this seems like something that the cops should be doing. Kind of thing. We're way out of our jurisdiction. So maybe <laughs> we should just call them? <laughs> I'll call them after I solve this case myself. Okay, then. So in other words, he wants to fucking, you know... Do something that hey Technic sh shouldn't be doing. Would we have this wireless audio what? transmitter? It looks like a kid's yeah, it's toy. a fucking that kid's a microphone. Kid's Technically, it's ages twelve and up. All that matters <laughs> okay. is that it works. It has a range of fifty feet. Now Ron and I will be parked across the street, listening in and recording onto. Oh, say so surely they'll be able to see the fucking massive ass microphone taped to him there. Oh, he's here. Uh, act normal. That informal. Hey, Bob. Here comes the meat plane right to your counter. I, I just realized that microphone is apparently hidden a lot better. There it is. The the meat I ordered. Yes. And here's the money I'm paying you for it. Well said, Dad. All so right. We're all set. Have a great day. Wait. Yeah? Oh, uh, we should talk. We Talk more now. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, so meat. Just be like, I, I've got a couple more questions about this meat. After all, they're full of USDA prime beef, right? Well, you said it, pal. Right. I, I said it. Now you say it. Say what? Say, say oh, what I God. Said. Say what you said about what? About what's in the boxes. You you want me to say what you said about what's... I know, just be like, is this, like, the prime beef or whatever? And we're clear. Nice work, everyone. Tina especially. <laughs> we got nothing. Yeah. Oh, this is why you Your get the people that actually uh, fucking, you know... Are allowed the the higher up people that no, actually are qualified for this shit. That's why you get them. Your children. When Jack comes back, you're out of the restaurant. Yeah, I actually agree with that. No way! I don't want you getting your germs all over my germ testing equipment. <laughs> oh, well then I guess I'll just put in a little call to the FDA. And we'll all... I mean, honestly, that's fair fucking blackmail. Make the call. Set up the meat for the meat. Okay, surely this guy's gonna be suspicious the if they're over, the like this quickly getting new meat. Jack, Jack attack. Hugh Jackman. Okay. Bob. Bob. Russ. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. What's that sound? I, I can't hear anything. So here it is. Oh god. The fine USDA. Oh, you Great. fucking kidding Let me. me. Uh, get your check. Okay. Payment. Uh, the money. Mm -hmm. He's uh, scratching his chest. Ah, we're missing everything. Yeah. Okay. So is he gonna have to do this shit again? Did we get anything at all? We got something, Dad. We got crap. I was really itchy. Well, you're doing it again. Okay. Well, use less tape because it's making me itchy. Bye. Yeah. Like, at this point, uh, God said so this is actually the next day. You know, you guys like the song the most out of anyone I sing it to. Hello again, Jack. <laughs> okay. Oh, you uh -oh. fucking gave me. Crap. Is it broken? Are you, <laughs> you crushed the microphone? I mean, don't buy shitty fucking kids' microphones then. Uh-huh. Well, I, I don't know if that will work. I'll have to get back to you. 
Uh, okay, talk soon. Wrong number. Jack Conway just invited us to his birthday party. Oh, he God. Did? <laughs> we're his best customers. That's so awkward, though, considering the only reason they're buying is, is, you know, to get him in trouble. Going to that party. Yeah! Yes. Okay. When he blows out his birthday candle, someone will say, what did you wish for, getting taken down? And he'll be like, no, but it will still be cool, so let's rehearse that. <laughs> okay. Where the it fuck is this birthday? being in a guy's house to sting him on Is that a house? It looked like... I don't know, it looked like a school or something, the way that it was, that building was shaped. Hey, oh, it's a bunch of them, it's apartments, I didn't realise that it was, I didn't realise that it was Pesto apartments. Was I was wondering hey, why it was family. shaped that way. Hey, Jack, uh, happy birthday. Hey, uh, kids, you want to go over and do some slipping and sliding? Hell Watch yes. Out, my son's pretty good. That's him over there. Wait, here's a kid? Why the fuck, they're tanned as well. Hey, Shayna. Oh my god. And that's my wife, uh, Marion, over there. This is them! Yeah, Bob and Linda! Hi. Oh, hey, Marion! Oh, is she. Uh, I I mean, never mind. What? No, is she, is she what? Nothing! <laughs> I don't even okay. know what. Nothing! I mean, yeah. Are they just gonna start feeling fucking bad and not wanna actually bust them? Considering, you know, he's got a family and a kid. Oh, that's just a base coat. Oh, Jimmy Jr.'s eating a hot dog. That's nice. Wait. What if Jack put horse meat in the hot dogs? Horse dogs. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I mean, that's actually a fair assumption though, but like, I doubt that they fucking actually made the hot dogs themselves. So, he invited Jimmy Pesto, huh? Yeah, actually he heard about it and he invited himself. Oh. He got here yesterday. Okay. Wait, so, what's out? Jack. What is he just uh, wait outside? Uh, are you selling Jimmy the same meat that you're selling me? What? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Jimmy what? buys the super cheap stuff. Right, right. And, and, and you sell me the... The good cheap stuff. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so is Bob's meat actually fucking horse? Good. <laughs> you, you, you had a... Okay, surely that's, you know, surely that's very suspicious that he's just sitting there posing. DA Prime? Yep, yep. That's it. I, I can't believe I forgot those words. Yes. But if you were to put it as a statement instead of a question, oh, if God. you hold on before you say anything, what would you sound like? Um, you, okay. Jack, sell me, Bob, but wait for one second before you do it, and now do it. USDA, prime, beef. Right. <laughs> Brain fart, you just said that. <laughs> okay. Surely he's so fucking confused. Okay, yeah. Do you I like just... ska, Bob? Um, the music. Yeah, do you like ska? Um, I forget if I do, do, do I have to? Why don't you come inside? I want okay. to play you some ska that will turn you into an Okay, what is he gonna fucking, like, kill him or something? Wow, that's really loud. Oh, sorry, uh, is that too much? I can't really hear you. I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, it is pretty fucking obvious, though. Not the state. Oh, crap. Did you just kiss my ear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, fair enough. How could you do this to me, Bob? You're wearing a wire. I mean, to be fair, though, his restaurant is about to get shut down if he doesn't. Nobody is listening to us? Nobody's heard me say anything to you today? Oh, not yet. I'm realizing now that I probably shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, separately, can I take a look at that thing for a second? Oh, no, oh, no. do not. Well played. I've got nervous tummy, Ron. I've got a bad feeling. I'm sure it's going okay. I brought a book on- Unless this guy fucking breaks the tape. Jack, I'm giving this tape to the health inspector. Okay, Bob. You gotta do what you gotta do, and I. And he's I about to that. fucking take what it, is isn't he? There? Yeah, is I fucking knew it. Yeah, and this we're just fucking. Oh my god, go on the slip and slide. Uh, Bob, you forgot to hug the host. Oh no, just give it to one of the kids, and that would probably be up the fucking run. <laughs> yes, the fucking slip and slide. I knew it. Crazy son of a bitch. <laughs> he's gonna slide. Hell yes! Surely that tape recorder would get kind of fucked though if it's wet. Amazing slide, Bob. But now I'm gonna need that tape recorder. You go catch! No, don't! Yeah, don't. Unless he somehow miraculously does a good job at catching this. Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, Hugo, this is on you. I've never been good at it. <laughs> yes, it's broken. Hey, look, the tape's up. Yeah, wait, well, yeah, I didn't even Happy think about it. Punk. Oh, yes, bird. Looks like Jimmy Pesto's still mad at me for bringing his meat prices back up. I mean, yeah, 
so, uh, Bob, I don't know why he's angry considering his horse mates and not wanted to advertise that so he would get in trouble anyway. Hey, Belchers. <laughs> what the fuck? He's Jack back? Walking through your doorway. Jack! Hi! <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he's coming back then, to be honest. Uh, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in, like, meat jail or something? <laughs> no, I'll probably be able to stay out of jail, but uh, there are a lot of fines and legal fees. I'm still slippy sliding, though. And for those two seconds, I forget everything. Okay. They can't take that away from me, can they? I mean, they can't. I mean, I mean, I'm not actually that surprised he's not going to jail. I started writing a book about okay. my experiences. I'm calling it Friday Night Meets. <laughs> sure. I don't really get Who the, the fuck is going to read this book? It's a and a TV show. You've never heard of it? Yeah, I have heard of it. He's not really a football fan. No, I like football. I just don't know why you would call it Friday Night Meats. That's good. <laughs> I get it. Chapter one. It was okay, do we really need to hear your book? selling meats. Horse meats. Is he just going to stand in there the whole day and read the fucking thing to him? <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess I kind of got that right. And I did say that maybe Tina was going to get a spell book and think that she's a fucking witch or something. I thought I would have been, like, way off. But no, I, I was pretty much right. Because apparently several people in this town think they're witches. I have seen people on, like, TikTok and that... That think they're witches and shit, which I mean, I'm not. I don't know. I don't think it's real, but like, if you if you enjoy it, just fucking do it. I don't care. <laughs> that crossing guard though, is that what they called? I don't know. I feel like she was kind of unhinged though, in the sense of just taking the fucking hair thing off Tita. Like, I feel like that should be, you know, at least a violation in some way, shape, or form. But I mean, you know. She, she said she put a curse on Tina. Apparently, she's a bad witch, which is so what was with Tina's weird ass, like, goth outfit. I mean, I guess it was kind of cool. I don't know. I knew all that shit was an obvious fucking coincidence, and, you know, that, that she's not actually a witch or whatever. Which, I mean, the whole thing with Jean and the fish fingers. I just realized in America, they call them fish sticks, don't they? In Australia, I've only ever heard people call them fish fingers. I mean, they taste fucking disgusting anyway. And of course, Gene keeps one in his, in his locker. Like, I'm not that surprised. But all this started, though, technically, because Tammy, you know, had to be an arsehole and rip off Tina's costume and present it as her own idea, which, at this point, I'm not really that surprised. I mean, the said witching was probably less original, to be honest. I swear I've heard that in, like, so many different shows. What was the Chewbacca one that Gene said? I can't even remember. Gene, whatever idea Gene and Louise came up with to do with Chewbacca was amazing. And I cannot fucking remember it. Okay, with the whole Jack o Lantern thing, though, I fucking knew that it wouldn't have been Jimmy Pesto that took it. Because I was like, how the hell could he possibly, like, run across, grab the Jack o Lantern, run back, and hide it in that time? But the fact that Fish Odin was taking it. Because apparently that's like an agreement that he didn't even like specify with anyone. So he could have his own like jack-o'-lantern world thing that cost five dollars to get a picture with. No, but again, I, it's lucky that in America jack-o'-lanterns are like only like a couple of dollars. Because in Australia they're like four dollars a kilo and they end up weighing like ten kilos or whatever. So they cost like forty to fifty dollars, which is ridiculous, especially since you cut a hole in it, carve it, and like use it for like one night, and you pretty much chuck it out straight away. Also, why the fuck was Fish Oda stealing bikes and that at the end? Why was Teddy helping him? I don't know, but oh no, I'm gonna leave here. That was a pretty good episode. I enjoyed that. Tina got just a little bit carried away with the whole witch thing, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. I'm surprised that a school library just has a book to do with fucking witchcraft and shit. Unless it's that librarian's, like, personal collection or some shit. I mean, I pretty much got a lot of that prediction right, so to be fair. I knew that's his, that someone was selling horse meat, but fuck me. <laughs> that's, the fact that Hugo, like, was going raving on at Bob for, you know, breaking the law, like, breaking the law or whatever. But then he's practically, not breaking the law, but, like, doing things that he's not meant to as well, this whole sting operation. <laughs> like, surely if he handed that in, they would be like, okay, yeah, cool, thanks, but, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, surely that's what they would say to him, but I don't, honestly, but at the end there, I thought Bob was gonna be like, okay, yeah, I can't do this because he has a family and all that, but, but no, I mean, to be honest, though, if it's his restaurant that's gonna get shut down if he says, if he doesn't do this, fair enough that he's doing it. But, I mean, no wonder that guy realised that this is a sting operation when Bob's standing up and, like, posing, being like, oh, yes, Talk to my fucking pocket. Uh, is, is this FDA approved or whatever? No, but why the fuck? Hugo is kind of a dick though. Because he knew that Jimmy Pesto was buying, like, from this distributor as well. But didn't seem to give two shits about shutting him down. Also, I do love the fact that this guy also kind of was chatting shit about Jimmy, Pe like, Jimmy Pesto. And being like, oh yeah, he just invited himself here. Which, like, 
whether that is even true or not, like, why do I have a feeling he was just saying that just so Bob would buy more of his meat? But yeah, I'm not even surprised that Tina was all outraged by this, because I forgot about the fact that, you know, she likes horses as, like, her favourite animal or whatever, so. <laughs> no, but the equipment in that, that Hugo was using, why the fuck, I mean, it makes sense, though, because obviously he's not allowed, well, not meant to be doing this whole sting operations thing, so he's not going to have proper equipment. But the fact that he just had a kid's microphone toy at first, and then also just a tape recorder second. I mean, I'll say before that, why didn't Bob just, surely Bob had, oh no, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> the whole horse thing is kind of fucked. Like, is eating horse, like, legal? Is that, like, something that people do? Because, I don't know, I've never heard of people actually eating it. Until I heard about the whole thing, like, in real life about horse meat being in beef products. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>